everybody welcome back to six care reviews y'all already know who it is it's dan here with another video uh and of course it's the cajun car dealer man gambit you already know um but if you're new here please subscribe for more content uh you know you know we're just two dudes on this channel that uh you know we love to collect figures man and uh you know we don't get everything but you know we get the stuff that we're interested in and we'll do reviews on it and this, you know let you know our thoughts whether it's good or bad you know not every figure is perfect but yeah uh you know it's just what we do here so uh yeah if you like it subscribe um but anyways gonna check out this guy it's gambit now i am by no means the gambit expert uh i just think he's a really cool x-men uh x-man um, he's very interesting. His power set is very unique, in my opinion. Um, and yeah, he's a fucking badass, bro. Um, I'm just really excited to finally have this guy in my collection. I really, 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 really hope So So Toys does more of the X Men uh, in the future. So we'll see. And I've heard there is some down the pipeline. But, anyways, let's take a look at this guy right here. This is pretty cool art box. Uh, you know, the name is pretty fucking funny, Cajun Car Dealer. You know, if you didn't know, he is from Louisiana. Here's all the legal info and the whatnots. But, yeah, nothing too crazy. This box is pretty, pretty straightforward. Uh, let me go ahead and open this thing. Pretty easy to slip off. It just goes like this. Got a nice little art print kind of cool I dig it and then here is the figure himself comes with two trays let me try not to drop the shit very very cheap clamshell um, but yeah this is the figure oh my god that noise is horrible sorry <laughs> not gonna lift that up again but Anyways, I'm going to get everything out and uh, show you all the accessories these guys come with. So, yeah, let's get it. All right, here is everything that he comes with. Um, for accessories, at least. Uh, here is the card package. Now, a few of mine have popped out because I was moving this thing around as I was, you know, getting ready to do this video. And, yeah, a few of them popped out. They're in there. They are in there. Um... But it's really cool how they did this. Uh, instead of giving you like only like three cards or something to work with, you have like a whole deck. You can pick and choose which cards exactly you want. And then, yeah, leave the rest in here, which is really cool. I actually appreciate that. Um, let's see. Let's look at the hands. So here is the hand. It is translucent. And it looks really good. Like really good. That gradient. To the black it's that's really nice it's very high quality i really like the paint on this uh definitely gonna be using these more than the regular hands which are these guys right here uh nothing too special they're just you know his gl regular gloved hands they look like gloves which is nice uh so yeah nothing too crazy no, no crazy paint apps or anything on that um let's look at the staff the staff's really cool. It's got some good paint work on there. It's got a little bit of grime. A lot better in person. Uh, can't really see it over the camera, but it's, yeah, it is some faint weathering. Um, it is plastic, so it's very light. It's going to be very easy to pose. It's not going to be like weighing you down or anything. Um, we do have this energy uh, cluster, which is really cool. Uh, translucent. Very much reminiscent of his powers. Um, this one does not peg in, so I don't know. I have no idea how to attach this, so I guess I'll figure that out when I pose him. And, but yeah, it looks really good. Uh, it's a cool effect. Glad they added it. And then, of course, we have this one, which we've all probably seen. If you're watching this video, you know you've seen it before. This looks really cool. Um, you know, the cards are being shot out in that energy style, but and but the difference between this one. This one actually has a hand on the bottom right there that you peg in to the arm and then that's how you attach this one. So this one has an attachment method, which is cool. 
Now you do have this, um, you know, this base. Now if you see my so-so toys uh, review of the Night Vigilante, you know I'm not a big fan of this. It's very cheap, plasticky. But this one's a little bit better. You know, it has a nice X symbol for the X-Men. And it's got a metal flight pole. This thing is actually pretty rigid and solid. And it, it just goes in there. As you can see, it is metal. So that's a plus, I think. Um, kind of happy with that. And then uh, he does come with one more thing. But I'll show it to you after. because uh, As it goes on the figure. Because it's just weird showing you just a hair piece. So I'm not going to do that. Um, but yeah. I'm gonna get the figure out here and then we're gonna take a closer look at him. Let's do it. All right, here is the figure himself. And wow, this thing is just incredible. Look at the hair, man. The face sculpt is on point. The eyes are on point. Uh, dude, the whole outfit is just, this is incredible, man. This is really good. I love the details on the chest. Got the, those little hexagon uh, details. The suit on the bottom. I feel like there's a little bit of cushion in there, which is cool because it kind of fills the eye. Doesn't look skinny. Very proportionate. Uh, you know the boots. It's got some ever so slightly. They are ever so slightly weathered, uh, but there is weathering on them, which is a plus as always. <laughs> But yeah, and the leather jacket, this doesn't feel like it's gonna like peel. It's very uh, soft and like movable. So I don't think this is gonna have an issue peeling. You can take this off, but I really don't feel like taking this off my, uh, you know, my figure. And there, there are wires in this as well. The jacket's very, look how detailed and like weathered it is. It looks really good. And, uh,. But yeah, I, I also wanted to show how easily this comes off. Just pops off like this. He looks weird. And now this thing just kind of slides. I would be very careful. Uh, it just pops on like that. And there you go. That's how he looks with his hair down. And it, I honestly really like this look. Um, I'll probably just have him like this when he's just standing there. And then obviously the other hair when... Uh, when he's doing something crazy, but um, I'm gonna switch back to the other hair for now. Um, let me make sure I have the right spot. Boom. So now I'm gonna go over articulation. Uh, I have not. Uh, I, I've had other so-so toys before, so I don't expect any different. Um, but let's start with the head. Oh, let me not do that. The head definitely. A little stiff but he can pretty much do whatever you want it's on two separate joints which is cool it'll definitely work the arms will go out pretty high uh even with the jacket on like i said the jacket is very thin and of course you can remove it and it has a undersuit now this feels very thin as well uh kind of it's it's a weird it's a weird feeling material um but i feel like it's gonna last but i'm not gonna risk it right now um, there is a double jointed elbow um, for people will say that it might not have one but I'm here to tell you that it does have one the arms go out to about there um, the torso is actually this is all one solid hard plastic piece so you're not getting any type of bend in this uh, all the hip articulation is down here at the bottom so yeah it's all right there yeah this thing ain't moving uh it's got a nice you can twist it though uh you can twist you can kind of pivot nothing too crazy um like i said it's hard plastic so that shit ain't going nowhere the legs can go out to about uh, about there that's where i'm comfortable um yeah because i think like i said there's a little bit of put uh cushion and padding under there so it's a bit restrictive um it goes out pretty far about there that's where i'm comfortable i don't want to split that seam right there uh that's a pretty decent amount it's almost almost 90 it's getting there um which is not bad definitely workable now the knees go only about to 90 and i'm assuming because of the boot 
but it does feel like there is two joints. There's definitely two joints, but yeah, it's just restricted. Definitely double jointed knee. And then ankles, uh, very movable. They can do whatever you want. Pivot uh, up and down. No toe, toe articulation. And then of course got some tread down there. But yeah, he's uh, you know pretty decent, pretty decent on articulation. So. Um, but the head definitely would be hindered when you put this head sculpt or this hair piece on So beware But yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna go ahead and pose this guy up and yeah, let's see what we come up with All right, here's the first pose um, Went with the energy effect the spiraling one uh, as you can see here uh, looks pretty cool legs spread apart a bit and uh, yeah, this thing looks fucking great, man. Um, I only have one gripe, and it's the fucking hands suck. Uh, they do not go onto the peg. Like, they don't fit correctly, and that's not... It's not fun. I had to Dremel out a little bit. I have, like, a small little hand Dremel, and it uh, you know, I opened up the hole on each individual hand, which fucking sucks. Uh, just to get it to fit on the peg correctly, man, because it... It's hard. It does not fit, and I felt like I was gonna break it the arm or something, and I just did not want to happen that to happen on the brand new figure. So, I had to do that, which is unfortunate. Um, you know, so so toys dropped the ball on that one. But I mean, look at this energy effect, dude. It looks so fucking cool. Like, you know, besides the hands, like this figure is fucking incredible, man. It's so cool. Um, yeah, the the outfit. The fucking hair. Uh, that's it's, this is such a cool figure, man. I'm totally in love with this thing. Uh, yeah, I can't wait to come up with some more poses with this. And yeah, it's it's really good. The detail is very subtle. It's not quite Hot Toys top quality, but it's definitely there. It's getting there. So so Toys is definitely stepping up. And um, yeah, let's go for another pose here. Here he is running, uh, throwing his cards. I actually stole this from a comic book cover. Um, pretty fun to do. Super fun to pose. Uh, you know, it's really easy, you know, besides the hands, as I've mentioned before. Um, I have him balanced here on one leg. Nothing's touching. He is actually all balanced on one leg. That just shows you how good the, um, the ankle uh, joint is with the split cut boot. And this energy effect is fucking sick, dude. But once again, I had to drill it out a little bit. Just so it can fit in the peg. And, yeah. Dude. <laughs> I'm actually really proud of this one. Um, but, yeah. Let's get to the next one. Here's the next one. Um, yeah, he kind of, like, stopped and turn he's throwing his cards behind him um i think this looks pretty cool i'm actually i actually like this one more than i did on the last pose uh so, you know it's just so fun to pose man this like i said this the, the cool factor is totally there for this guy and i'm all for it man like <laughs> i'm so happy i got this it's super cool uh those energy effects man they're they they look incredible uh you know, good job, fucking so so toys, man. That's so sick. But uh, yeah, let's get you know, let's get another pose. Let's go. Here is another pose. Um, he is twirling his, not twirling, but holding his staff. Uh, and you know he's got his cards ready to rock. So I mean, I. Also, I'm using the different hair. Pretty, pretty simple. Looks really good. Uh, this is a pretty decent uh, pose, I think. Looks cool. But, yeah. Let's get one more pose, and then we'll call it good. And here he is. Uh, I stole this from a comic art cover. Um, you know, there's a couple of them where he was leaning on some stuff so i thought i'd try this out i use the stand with the uh the pole in it so i can lean them against the thing and 
Yeah, this thing is incredible, man. Uh, this this particular figure absolutely shits on its alternate version that uh, you know, the company who shall not be named made. And dude, this one is just ten times better, man. Ten times better. The you know he the head sculpt he doesn't look like a fucking monkey. Uh, it looks very proportionate. The body's better. The jacket looks better. It's just an overall better piece. If I, if you could, please, please get this guy. Uh, yeah, but I, like I said, this is a kind of a character pose. He's uh, leaning up against something. It's, it'd be weird if he was leaning against the glass. Like, am I right? Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, I put, I put him against a pole. But, man, I just... Dude, I can't get over how fucking cool this thing is, man. I am so happy I got this. And what, from what I hear, this thing, they've only made 350 of these. I'm not sure how true that is because I I looked around on my, you know, on my box and I didn't see any, like, edition size or anything. So, yeah, I mean, if if you guys know about that, you know, let me know because, you know, I, I, that's just what I heard before when I pre-ordered this. So, yeah, this thing's fucking incredible, bro. Um... <laughs> You know, if if you can get your hands on this, please do. Um, it's not too expensive, at least as far as I know now. Uh, but I can definitely see this skyrocketing in the aftermarket. Uh, you know, Soso Toys has been killing it. You know, like I said, my one gripe is the fact that it ha the hands fucking suck. But that's really it, honestly. Um, but anyways, guys, that's, that's all I got for you tonight. Uh, you know, that's it for the video. And uh, if you haven't already, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button uh, for more content like this, man. Uh, you know, just getting cool pieces like this in the collection. And yeah, I'm super stoked on this. But yeah, look at this, man. <laughs> All right. Anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching. Uh, we will catch you guys on the next one. And uh, yeah, appreciate it. Thank you.